everybody. Welcome back to Starkey Form Says. So my name is Samantha and I'm just going to break this down for you guys. Super easy. So I've done a video before going no one has ever left the firmament. You know man, no object has ever gone through the firmament that God placed around the earth. But here is where so many Christians are lacking further knowledge. The firmament includes the sun the planets the moon and the stars so what does that mean that means that we can travel to any and or all of those things and never technically leave the firmament there's a lot of controversy about the moon landing and i'm not even talking about that topic today in fact i've never done really any research into it because well it's just not very important to me but what is important to me is for people to be able to distinguish between truth and fiction. So yes, it is very possible that there is a space station only 250 miles above the earth floating in space because that is still technically under the firmament. Wait, you didn't hear my content is harmful. My content, yeah, that's what YouTube said when they stole our money last month. So I'm not getting paid for any videos. You're watching commercials, I don't get any of that money. But if you'd like to support us, even a dollar, if each other one of you would take one second, send one dollar, it would be so appreciated, folks. Row in our boat, help us to continue to educate people about truth. Oh, it's pinned in the top of comments. Look right there. Go to the top of comments. It's what pinned. What is most disturbing to me is that people will not even do basic research. So, I've got some information for you guys. How do they get oxygen on the space ISS, the space station, and in the crafts? Well, first, guys, they send oxygen up. But the cool thing is they have filters that redo the air constantly producing more oxygen they are also growing food in these space stations now our astronauts went up and they were there for supposed to be eight days which then turned into nine months taking a horrific toll on their bodies these people have to go through rehab folks to be able to walk again and what the Biden administration did is criminal at the minimum, leaving them there, sending up care packages of food to them periodically to make sure they had everything they need, but they wouldn't bring them back to Earth. Now, I'm going to show you a quick clip. Watch this. Back in June, they launched on Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. But as they approached the ISS, some of the spacecraft's thrusters started malfunctioning. NASA got worried that the Starliner wouldn't be safe for the return journey. So they sent it back to Earth empty, leaving the astronauts without a ride home. But how do you get astronauts back from space? The ISS typically has around seven crew members, with SpaceX Dragon capsules rotating four astronauts every six months. For this rescue, NASA came up with a solution. When they send the next crew, up in September, they only sent two new astronauts instead of four, leaving room to bring the stranded crew back on the return trip. Now here's where it gets messy. Elon Musk claimed SpaceX offered to launch a rescue mission way earlier, but says the Biden administration rejected it. He even suggested they deliberately push the return date past the presidential inauguration for political reasons. NASA's story? They say it was all about safety protocols and spacecraft availability. Regardless of what story you want to believe, it was political, it was not political, it was safety, it was not safety. It doesn't matter. The truth is these people got trapped in space for eight and a half months longer than their contract. And then NASA wants to pay them a $15 a day per diem for the additional days they were there, equaling $1,400 above their contract cost. Are you kidding me? You just stole eight and a half months of their life on earth and then the health problems that they may incur because you left them there. So here is what President Trump had to say about the astronauts that you just helped yep. save from space. They didn't get any overtime pay for all that extra time. They got $5 a day per diem for 286 days. That is $1,430 in uh, extra pay. Is there anything the administration can do to get them, to make them whole? 
Well, nobody's ever mentioned this to me. If I have to, I'll pay that in my own Still have the black pill people that will drop in comments and try to argue with me that all space travel is fake. Folks, open your eyes. Do your research. Be better than that. Because see, when you start calling everything a conspiracy theory, everything, basically what you're saying is that you're too lazy to really ask those hard questions and you have become essentially blackpilled. It's astounding to me how many people do not understand how astronauts go to ISS and how it works. So ISS, what is it, like 250 miles above sea level, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a lot into space. It can be quite dangerous. Now people are wondering, how did they get oxygen? How did they get food? Well, they regenerate their oxygen, just like they regenerate their urine so that they have drinking water. How do they get food? Well, delivering um, packages to ISS is a lot easier than getting um, astronauts home. Very visible thruster firings from the Progress as it completes its alignment to the aft port of Zvezda. Point 11. Progress just about home. Contact confirmed. Contact confirmed. Docking confirmed. When President Trump said he'd like to see flying cars in America, that is a dream that we could have essentially met 60 years ago. The technology was there. The things that you and I are exposed to on a daily basis, we couldn't understand what NASA does. Now, am I a lover of the alphabet groups? No. Watch me long enough. You'll hear me say it again. I think most of them need to be decommissioned for all the obvious reasons, but to literally say that everything NASA's ever done is fake means that you have no true understanding of the capabilities of technology in this day and age. I have proven repeat, I mean, guys, I showed you videos of China putting brains inside of drones. Yeah, you heard me right. You heard me right. The technology is so far beyond what we mere people can understand that most of us just ignore it because we can't explain it. That is not an excuse to walk around claiming everything in this world is fake, folks. In fact, you are working for the CIA without working for a paycheck when you take that mindset. It means that you need to go get some books from the library for free and just start reading and educating yourself where they are, looking at patents, looking at technology and understanding truthfully what we could do if all of our money wasn't being sent out of the country in programs like USAID. Seriously, if America kept their money here, we would all be living in homes that had filters like NASA space astronauts have inside of the capsules, inside of the space stations, your air would be pure. You wouldn't have allergies anymore. It would mean that we would all be growing food in the most amazing ways and hunger in this country would end. But instead of using our technology to better our people, they just keep taxing us and sending it out of the country to make the rich richer. And that's just the facts. Now I know truth is never something people appreciate but if you do like comment and subscribe because you guys know i'm not going to baby anybody so love you guys have a blessed day